Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm very excited to bring you guys this video. Today, on June 6th, iOS 5 was announced by Steve Jobs himself at the Worldwide Developers Conference, and it has over 200 new features, many of which are brand new. Some of them are copied, of course, from the jailbreak community, and I'm just very happy that all of these features have finally made their way to iOS 5. I'll be going over most of the big ones and I'll cover some of the small ones too, but just enjoy this little iOS 5 preview. Probably the best and most exciting feature in iOS 5 is the new notification system overhaul. It's been completely redesigned and it suspiciously looks a lot like Android. You can slide it down from the top and you're presented with all of your notifications. You can close the ones you don't need, but you can't close them all at once. But overall, it's a lot better than the current notifications, which just pop up and it's very intrusive and very annoying. Also, not too long ago, I made a video about Mobile Notifier, which is a way to get better notifications through a Cydia tweak on iOS 4. And if you'll notice, iOS 5 looks a lot like Mobile Notifier. That's because Apple actually hired the guy that made the Mobile Notifier tweak to work on the iOS 5 notifications. A new feature Apple is introducing in iOS 5 is iCloud, and I'm not really interested in it, so I'm not going to be talking about it much, but basically it's a way to store all of your data on Apple servers, hence the iCloud. It's not on your computer, it's on Apple servers, and from that server you can download that information on any other device. Basically a really easy way to sync your information from device to device. Next, and my favorite, is the updated camera application. Apple finally allows us to use the volume button as a physical camera button, and that's really great for sunlight when you cannot see the screen. It's been available in apps before, but it's just not the same when it's not implemented into the iOS itself. You can also pinch to zoom on photos and tap to hold focus and exposure. And that's really great because when I'm filming, it'll constantly change the focus when I want it to be focused on one point. And basically your quality of photos and pictures will get a lot better since you can now hold the exposure. Twitter is now integrated in iOS 5, and you can send tweets from many applications on your iDevice, including Maps for Location, YouTube, Safari, and Photos. Another great new feature in iOS 5 is iMessage. It's a way to communicate between iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad users by sending messages, photos, videos, and even contacts for free. And you guys can also group message. It's a lot like BlackBerry Messenger, but for iOS devices. iOS 5 will not require that you have a computer to use your device. Straight out of the box, you can take it and use it without ever having to sync it to your computer. So everything will be done over the air, including software updates. And what's great about the new software updates is that you will not have to restore your device entirely every time you need to install one small update. You will only install that little chunk of information that needs to be changed without ever having to restore your device and losing all of your data. Next up is wireless syncing. You no longer need any wires to sync your device to iTunes. All you need is Wi-Fi and of course your computer and iTunes open. In Safari, there's now Safari Reader, which takes the web page you're looking at, removes all of the photos, and just leaves you with the text so you can enjoy your reading more without any of the distractions. There's also Reading List, which takes any text or web pages you want to read and collects it for later. Safari does also have tabs in the new iOS 5 version, which is especially useful if you do have an iPad. There's also a cool new application called Reminders, and as the name suggests, it does remind you of various things, but the cool thing about it is that it reminds you based on your location. So you can set the location that you want the reminder to go off, and you'll get a notification once you get to that location. Game Center was updated with some new and extensive features, as well as the Mail application, which got rich text editing, among other things. There is also a new application called Newsstand, which brings magazines from many publishers to your devices. Of course, you do have to pay. And there's also something interesting for the iPad, a split keyboard, which allows you to type on both sides of the screen with both hands. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for the major new features in iOS 5. There are a bunch of smaller ones, and I'll go over some of them with you real quick. Some of those smaller iOS 5 features include emoticons, iPad mirroring to the Apple TV wirelessly. You are now able to delete your music by swiping as well as playlists. And I was kind of ticked off because you couldn't do that in prior versions, but you could do it to videos. So glad Apple finally put that in. You are now able to enable multitasking gestures in the iOS itself without any hacks. 
and we've been over that before so on to the next one ios 5 now has a built-in dictionary as well as hourly weather forecasts on the notification drop down menu and you will now get better quality while facetiming okay guys so that's my little preview of ios 5 Hopefully it gives you an idea of what to look forward to when iOS 5 rolls around this fall for the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the iPad 1 and 2. Please leave a comment letting me know what you would add to iOS 5 and what you like about it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to rate and subscribe if you haven't already for more great videos.